Hi, it's Tracy from Crafty Misty. Welcome to day three of my Christmas countdown series. Today I'm going to be making a Christmas card with these two stamp sets from Norm Fawn. That's the Snow Bunny and Yeti Set Go, and I'm also using the coordinating dies with those. I'm also going to be using the stitched hillside borders a really cute piece of pattern paper that I think I got from a Simon Says Stamp card kit I've got a Stampin' Up! Real Red piece of cardstock I've got a large dots embossing folder and I've also got Stampin' Up!'s Apothecary Accents dies and I'm using the larger one um, my little girl's off poorly today and she's been talking to me while I've been filming so I'm going to leave a little bit of her in just because I think it's cute and it Hopefully it will make someone smile today. What colour is that? Black. Why do you need black? I have to use this ink so that I can colour it in. Okay. I think stick. Stick. It doesn't stick. I'm going to watch telly. Okay. Who was it? Don't know, I didn't recognise the number so hard. Do you only need two of eight? No, I only need uh, one of the bunny and I'm going to do a couple of the trees. Okay. Now here I'm using my Zig Clean Colour Real Brush Pens. Um, I hadn't properly used them before, I'd had a little practice but I just thought I'd give them a go for this card and what I ended up doing is uh, using two colours per part of each image really I uh, put down my darkest colour first apart from here and then just used my lighter colour to blend that out so here I'm putting about down my darkest grey And then I just blend it out with the lighter colour. And it worked fine for me. And I'm using watercolour paper. Um, so it, it did blend really well. I thought it was really nice. I couldn't quite get the hang of it um, doing it with the water. But I found that using two brushes together worked quite well for me this time. I will give it another try, trying some different techniques with it, but for now this one worked for me. And again I just put my darkest red down, there's not much of a difference between these two reds, um, but it was just enough for me really. On the trees I did exactly the same thing, used my darkest colour first and then blended that out with my lighter colour. On the bottom two parts of the tree I went from the darkest to the lightest but I did the top section a little bit different. I took from the darker on the second section, the middle section, and pulled it up. Now here I am just uh, using my large dots embossing folder to emboss my real red card base and while my big shot was out I did everything that I needed to with that so I did my embossing and then I moved on to cutting out my sections I cut out two of these white ones and um, they were just to use on the uh, hillside borders so that I could give my scene a bit of a snowbank. 
and you can see that's what I'm doing here. I really love the stitched die cuts from Northorn. They're my favourite die cuts of any ones that I have. They're so pretty. So after I'd cut those out, I took the Snow Bunny die and the uh, dies for the trees from the Yeti Set Go stamp set and I just cut all those out. I didn't end up using all of the trees, I think I used five altogether but I cut them all out anyway just to make sure because you never know. And here's my bunny all cut out. I'm just positioning everything here on my card base to see how I like it. See if there's any changes that I wanted to make. I'm using some Tombow liquid glue and splashed it everywhere. I didn't need to shake that one. So I'm just adhering at that onto my pattern paper piece. And then I just put the other one straight on top of that as well. Monkey, I put all that on the floor. Okay. You can see um your. What's up? You can see your rabbit and your trees. Can you wait a minute. I'm just putting everything together. So here I decided that I was going to use the um, Merry Christmas die cut from Somerset Stamp and I was going to cut that out of some Stampin' Up uh, glitter paper, glimmer paper, whichever you like to call it. And so here I'm just using my craft pick to get it out. It did cut but it was a bit tough to get it out. So once they were out I adhered them with some uh, multi map medium or multi medium mat from Ranger and I used a uh, Tombow to stick the large piece on 
Now for some finishing, finishing touches even, I took my red Wink of Stella glitter brush pen and went over the bunny's scarf. I also took my white gel pen, just went over his tail and put some little dots on him, little spots, just to make him a little bit more interesting because he was looking a bit flat and grey and dull. And I thought that made him look kind of cute, it reminded me of one of my old bunnies. And then I also put some bits of snow with my white gel pen onto all of the trees. I'm using my black gel pen, my glaze pen, just on his eye and nose, just so that you could see them a bit better. And then I took my clear Wink of Stella and just lightly went over the entire snowbank on my card. Now I'm taking some more of that multimedia matte and using it to very awkwardly put some sequins onto my card. I haven't found a way to do this that suits me yet. And as you can tell I just I end up in a mess and a muddle. Yeah, I'm not so great with sequins, which is why I don't use them very often. <laughs> And I also used a gem from Stampin' Up from the Basic Rhinestones and I used that as my eye in Christmas. And so here is my finished card. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope hearing um, my little Emmy brought some smiles to some of your faces. And I will see you on Thursday for day four of my Christmas countdown. Thank you.